Well, leaders in Benton County want to expand the county jail there, but the sheriff says they'll need voter support. We have 439's Emma Claybrook. She's joining us live now with more on what it could take. Emma. Well, the county says it does have some reserve funds to use for the expansion of the jail, but it won't be enough money, which is why county officials want to put a measure on the ballot in the fall. We're pretty much at capacity every day right now. We have 669 beds. We're most of the time somewhere between 700 to 750. Uh, people that are here. Sheriff Holloway wants to add more beds to the jail, a separate medical wing, a designated mental health unit, and he wants to expand the day area space for programming for the inmates. I think it's crucial that we look at this and plan for the future for not just today, uh, but 5, 10, 15, 20 years out for our children and grandchildren. We have to have an expansion in our criminal justice system as a whole uh, to address our growing population and to be able to make this a safe place for everyone to live. He also wants the whole criminal justice system to be out at the jail, not only so that the courts and prosecutor's office can all be in one place, but also for safety reasons. By everyone being on one, one spot for us, one thing obviously helps immediately is not having to transport uh, people from this location to downtown Bentonville. Uh, they would, for security reasons, they would be here and be escorted from this building through a hallway to the courtroom. At a quorum court finance committee meeting last week, Benton County Judge Barry Mooring said the court needs to approve the language for the ballot measure by August 30th so it can be on the ballot for voters in November. We need to bring you that proposal first. Our budgets, just like municipal budgets, they're not designed to take on capital requests like this. We're supposed to go to voters and ask them for unusual budget items, which this will be. Sheriff Holloway says the county is still in the early stages of working with architects for the design of the expansion and trying to figure out just how much it will cost. Reporting live in Benton County, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.